Oh. That's the blank sorted. First chuck. You bet. Morning all. It's Monday the 21st of December. 2020, it's out there somewhere. Um, it's, I arrived two o'clock in the morning, it's now three in the morning. Set me camp up, set one of me rods up, threw that out at a whiting straight away. Um, and um, then I had a visit from the police. And don't get me wrong, very nice police officer, young lady and a young fella. Um, wasn't rude to me at all. Um, I showed them the angling trust um, post that everyone's probably read about travelling and exercising and you're allowed to go fishing with one other and all that, showed them all of that. Um, he called his sergeant and uh, was advised not to give me a ticket providing I now pack up and go home and don't come back. Um, if I don't, then uh, I'll be issued with a ticket for travelling whilst in Tier 4. Now I'm fishing at Barton Point, which is the closest beach to where I live. It is 20 miles, but the whole area is T4, so I'm not travelling out of T4. Um, I've always backed the government and the police in a lot of this, I agree with a lot of what they say, you could, should keep away from people, should wear your mask, um, but obviously I don't agree with this, and I think they're wrong to send me on. I don't know what you, you guys think, if you uh, want to leave me a comment and let me know, it would be interesting, I'll put a post on Facebook as well, and I'll see what everyone thinks. So, um, yeah, that's me done. Um, I'm not packing up straight away, I'm going to have a coffee first. And, uh, but unfortunately, that's me for a while. And um, I've just pe checked the HMRC website, it doesn't look like that's been updated. Well, it is yet, but it is a horrible website and difficult to find what you're looking for half the time. So, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have to do a bit of research to see what's going on. As far as I'm aware, you're still allowed to travel in Tier 4 in your area to go fishing. That's what the Angling Trust has advised. But uh, obviously, according to the law and the way he's explained it, and I understand it, if you travel and you have an accident, you're using up facilities, ambulance people, things like that, that should be used elsewhere. I understand that. But at the same time, the guidelines that we've been given by the Angley Trust say that you are allowed to travel for recreational purposes. Uh, fishing and fishing with one other. So I'm here at Sheppey Beach, all on my own, there's not a soul anywhere. I didn't see anyone driving here either. It's crazy. But there we go, what can you do? If I uh, ignore it and stay here, I'm sure they'll be back in an hour driving past to make sure I've left. So, uh, I've got no choice really, I'll have to pack up and go home. Um, so I'm hoping that's not the end of it. I don't really want to be stuck indoors for the next month or so until they change their minds again. Um, I'm quite happy to keep me distant to wear my mask and only go shopping if I have to but if you're not allowed to go fishing then something's wrong somewhere that, oh, perhaps I'll pack up go home and get my golf clubs and go and play golf I think you're allowed to do that it's crazy all right well I don't normally rant but and that's not really much of a rant I am fuming to be fair um, but there we go, what can you do? Alright, well, as I say, this is only a very short one, so thanks for watching, and I'll uh, talk to you again soon.